working with technology, uh, we can totally take advantage of it and bring in the photo and kind of trace it in a way. And I'll show you how to do that. It all is also a great a great way to work if you know you're still a beginning painter and you know your drawing uh, skills are not that good. So we're gonna bring in the photo onto the canvas. And the next thing that I'm going to do, I want to lower the opacity so that I'll be able to see my work better. But it still gives me enough of the image to work with. So I can still see uh, my subject matter and I can still see where the dark areas are, where the light areas are and all the fine details. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is, you know, you wanna lock all this layer and I'm just gonna lock these two just so that I won't make a mistake because it often happens that when you draw, you actually, you know, by mistake draw on the uh, on the wrong layer so you want to lock all the layers that you're not working with and i'm gonna add a new layer and that's gonna be my sketch layer and now i can actually work with the photo so but for this first exercise i would like for you to work with a dry ink brush technique and it's more expressive and much more interesting than just sketching with pencils. It also gives you an idea of where you wanna get your illustrations. There's more oomph in it, more, you know, more energy in drawing in that technique rather than using pencils, which are really, I don't know, more subdued. Now we wanna see some expressive painting when we work with this brush and this is going to give us a direction for where to take our illustration in the next step. So with this brush, if I don't press, I get a nice soft line. I'm actually using the stylus very very lightly because I don't want to press too much. If I press, I'll get this very strong line. So I want to mention the texture. to get the outline. Now what I'm aiming for in this first exercise is to get a picture that would inspire my later work. I want to look at this and get inspired to keep on working. And what I mean is that I would like to create a picture that will leave me with the uh, impression that I have something that I want to pursue. So this is basically what I'm doing here. Now, things that I know that I'm gonna be interested in are the lines of the cup. I mean, the shape. This is something that I would definitely want to represent in my uh, illustration. Another thing that I'll be interested in illustrating is the reflection on the cup. But if you look at a coffee cup, especially if it's the glass cup, you know that there are those reflections there and I will want to uh, show them in my illustration. So in this way, I'm getting familiar with my subject. I'm also creating a memory of my visit to the coffee shop through this illustration. And I will always be able to refer to this uh, memory later on when I look in my gallery. Now, when you work with a stylus, you pay attention to the way your hand is tilting because with this brush and with most um, digital brushes, when the hand, when the pencil is pointing directly at the canvas you'll get the fine line and when you tilt it you'll be able to get these soft brush lines working with the, the sketch really gives me a good sense of where this work is gonna go and it gets me inspired it helps me connect with my subject you know when I sketch it I always start with a rough sketch, always. Okay, and 
with that my friends we're ready to move on to the next stage